Booleans, these simple yet powerful true or false values that are essential for decision making in your code. Booleans in Elixir are just true and false. They're used in yes, no, or on off scenarios, but there's more to them than meets the eye. Let's open up IEX to see Booleans in action. Start with opening your terminal with command space terminal, and then let's start up our Elixir shell with IEX. Now just try typing true, try typing false, and you'll notice how Elixir recognizes them as Boolean values. But did you know in Elixir, Booleans are also atoms? And we can verify this by typing true equals uh, true. Oops, sorry guys. I cannot type, there we go, true. And we get true back. So this is telling us they're essentially the same thing in the eyes of Elixir. Now let's play around with Boolean operators. If we do true and false, we get false. And then if we do false or true, we get true. So you notice the results, Elixir follows logic just like you'd expect. Elixir also uses short circuit evaluation. And we can test this by typing false and, and then we can try to raise the error in parentheses here. So raise and then this won't raise, close those quotations and parentheses and hit enter and we get false. So why didn't it raise the error? Because Elixir stops evaluating as soon as it encounters false. Pretty cool, huh? You might be surprised to learn that almost everything in Elixir is truthy, except for false and nil. And to demonstrate this, we can do if zero comma do colon uh, return truthy comma else colon falsy. And we get truthy back. So Booleans aren't just standalone on Elixir. They can be compared with other types too. For instance, we can do false is less than zero and we get false. And of course, relational operators in Elixir yield Booleans. So we can do this by seeing uh, five uh, equal, equals five for equality. We get true back and we can also test. So three not equal to four we get true back. So you can also do it for inequality. How about some comparisons? We can also check, you know, like two is less than three. That's true. And we can do five is greater than four. And that's also true. Another cool thing, you can convert other types to Booleans. So if we did not nil, we get true back. So lastly, Booleans are the backbone of control structures, like if else statements as well. So if we did something like if true, comma, do yes, and then comma else no. And we can observe how it works and we get yes back. And that's our quick little dive into Booleans and Elixir. I encourage you to play around with these examples in uh, the Elixir shell. Understanding Booleans is key to mastering control structures, which we'll cover in more detail in an upcoming video. See you in the next video.